advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Oh, remember me? Remember Feminism is not misandry or man-hating, nor is it about eradicating masculinity and femininity. Also, you don't have to be a woman to be a feminist. Feminist criticism is approaching literature with the intention of analyzing gender roles within the text. Some famous feminists include Ellen Page, Kathleen Hanna, Seth Meyers, and Joan Jett. We will be acting out and analyzing three portions of the scene wherein unequal gender roles are present. Ophelia, walk you here. Read on this book. That show of such an exercise may color your loneliness. We are oft to blame in this, tis too much proved, that with devotion's visage and pious action we do sugar over the devil himself. Although Ophelia is Polonius' daughter, she is treated as a servant forced to obey the whims of her father rather than someone capable of exercising free will. Haha, -ha, are you honest? My lord? Are you fair? What means your lordship? That if you be honest and fair, your honesty should admit no discourse to your beauty. Could beauty, my lord, have better commerce than with honesty? I truly, for the power of beauty will sooner transform honesty from what it is to a bod than the force of honesty can translate beauty into his likeness. This was sometime a paradox, but now the time gives it proof. I did love you once. Indeed, my lord, you made me believe so. Hamlet dictates to Ophelia that it is easier for a good girl to be corrupted than it is for an already corrupt girl to regain her purity. This prevails the chauvinistic good girl stereotype that all women are forced to abide by, as it's ingrained in our culture to disparage women who aren't pure because they're sluts for exercising their own free will. Get thee to a nunnery! Where is your father? Over there. In this scene, it is very apparent that Hamlet is not only being inconsiderate towards Ophelia's feelings, but also sexist, as he's only treating Ophelia poorly because his mother shattered his ideals of what a woman should be. Another point made with this portion of the scene, perhaps subconsciously, is that Shakespeare was a sexist man as he portrayed women in Hamlet as submissive and incapable of higher thought without a man there to guide. Oh snap! Recap round!